Tonight, the family of a decorated war veteran from La Jolla is grieving his loss. Good evening, I'm Preston Phillips. And I might take him a lot as Richard Noble was killed along with his instructor yesterday after the glider they were in crashed near Hakumba. 10 News reporter John Carroll is live near the USS Midway Museum with the one thing that is bringing the Noble family some comfort tonight. John. Itika, that is that he was doing what he loved when he died. We're here next to, as you were saying, the USS Midway Museum because a lot of Noble's flying years were done from this ship. As a matter of fact, the very A6 that's featured on its deck was flown by Noble many times. 63-year-old Richard Noble, known as Rick to family and friends, was taking his first glider lesson Saturday at the county airport near Hakumba. But Noble was no stranger to airplanes. He was a decorated naval aviator who served his country for many years. He was an A-6 pilot and commander of a squadron that he flew 28 missions in the first Gulf War. And he had, recently he's been a, a corporate pilot. Noble's instructor was 54-year-old Martin Rothwell. Their tow plane had taken them up, but then shortly after the tow line was released, the glider spiraled out of control. You can see it broke apart when it hit the earth, killing both men instantly. Some might say it's a cliche to say Rick Noble died doing what he loved, but that's okay with his brother. That awful cliche is something that's very important to our family. Everybody has said it. He was a very passionate person. He loved flying. One story Bob Noble was anxious to share with us. On 9-11, Rick Noble was in Spain, still in the service then. You can see him here on this Spanish naval magazine cover with the Prince of Spain. Spain raised the American flag on their soil while Noble was there, the first time that had ever been done. That and many other memories are what the Noble family is focusing on now. We're going to miss him terribly, terribly, every day. But we have been so blessed to have him all of these years, and he was my best friend. Rick Noble was 63 years old. He leaves behind two grown children. Martin Rothwell was 54. The FAA is now investigating how this terrible accident happened. We're live near the Midway. John Carroll, 10 News.